talk to you about how important it is to forget the past, but remember God. That may sound somewhat oxymoronic, but it's not. Uh, Forget the past, but remember God. You may be saying, but in order to remember, it has to be something that has already taken place. And that's true. So let's talk about this as a principle of success. God said in Deuteronomy 8, he says, Remember, it is the Lord who gives you the power to get wealth, to establish his covenant. Jesus told us to take the Lord's Supper so that we would not forget God. He says, uh, do this in remembrance of me. Now, I think that it is extremely important that you learn from your past, but don't get locked into your past. And don't think that everything you've ever done in the past has to be done that same way because you're moving into new dispensations, new seasons, new development, new technology, new innovation, new creation. Things that worked in the past may not work in the present. God said, behold, I do a new thing. So I just wanted to tell you today as a nugget of success, uh, get out of the past. Don't get locked into the past. I know this is the way you've always done it, but it doesn't mean that that's the way you need to continue to do it.